The impact of Army aviation in Afghanistan is huge, but their story is changing. Gail McCabe has more in this report. The story of Army aviation in Operation Enduring Freedom is painted across the skies of Afghanistan, filled with accounts of endless hours of troop transport, attack and assault, medevac, and more. Today, it's a tale of drawdown in the face of continuing missions. Average op tempo, I think for all of our aircraft this month is 68. That's down from the height of the fighting season back, back in July. Here in Bagram, Chief William Butler is with the 10th Combat Aviation Brigade Task Force Falcon. To throw that into perspective, 10th Cab's flown for about eight and a half months, nine months. We've flown just over 100,000 hours. And while the op tempo is less, Butler says less is relative. Blackhawks, Apaches, Kiowas, Chinooks, all are still critical to the fight. We turned over 300 engines from green tag to yellow tag and put them back in airplanes. What that means is not just that they were bad when we got them, they weren't producing 100% power. And power in the demanding terrain of Afghanistan means safety. So we got to turn this one in about seven and a half days. Butler has spent a career working Army aviation as a test pilot, logistician, and currently as brigade maintenance officer. In his opinion, these soldiers make all the difference. They work, they eat, they work out, they sleep, they come back to work, and they like it, and they're learning a lot. What they're also learning are the demands of retrograde. 10th Cab has processed over $100 million worth of air parts for return, with more on the way. According to Butler, it's a new chapter in an enduring story. Gil McCabe, Afghanistan.